so let's dive directly into the training video so this video it's all about um, creating a comprehensive uh, road design for your route survey okay so i will quickly show you a method that is generally acceptable in all applications in the course of this training video so um you are expected to have your data okay on excel the way you are seeing on the screen so this is this this is my point series and um, the eastings nothings as well as the final reduced level and the description respectively okay so this description can as well as be tagged remarks so here you can have your um, changes or you can have your center line or you can have your TBM all together here okay so this column carries that information so note that your Excel should be arranged the way you are seeing on the screen okay it's things nothing so it will aid your design okay accurately so when you have your data uh, tabulated this way okay the next thing is to launch into your AutoCAD so uh, I'll be using the AutoCAD um, application here so be it you are using Civil 3D AutoCAD uh, LAN development or whatsoever this particular uh, method is going to work for you so I have actually test run it on LAN development uh, as well as Civil 3D okay so I'm very sure of that so when you have your AutoCAD, you open it, okay, you are going to see the interface this way. So you click on start drawing, all right? So it's gonna open a new work environment. So you don't need to do any unit setup or whatsoever because we are using a method that is quite different from what you are actually familiar with. So I'm just going to off the grid lines, okay? So when you have your AutoCAD, um, opened okay the next thing is to open the SWDTM okay so this is a terrain model plugin okay and I'm going to incorporate this plugin with AutoCAD to generate all my design okay that I'm in need of okay so all you have to do is to open this plugin as well so you can check under the video description to see uh, the uh, download link to this plugin freely okay so you can download and uh, make use of it when you want to design your road um, surface design or longitudinal um, profile let's quickly dive into the longitudinal profile uh, creation so to design your longitudinal profile all you have to do is to extract your information so we are not going to be needing the coordinates in the course of creating the longitudinal or L profile all right so all we need is the FRL description okay as well as the point to some extent so so here you cannot close this work environment we do not need this information so this is the information we need that has been extracted the point the elevation as well as the description respectively so this is the information we are going to be needing to create the longitudinal profile so to create the longitudinal profile the process is almost the same you just highlight the information from the zero point down to the description then down to the very last uh, data on the Excel sheet so this is the last information so I'm just going to put a repeat that sorry okay so when it's highlighted the same process open your AutoCAD environment open your source plugin okay then click on s section okay okay then you scroll down to draw l profile okay then you click on l profile okay so here on l profile all right you click on this then you click from excel okay from excel you click on that then here you can click on include all changes so that it will read all changes you have that is actually loaded or tabulated on your Excel okay so you can leave this on default so paper size you click on all 
but if you want your paper size depending on what you want a1 a2 or a3 okay you can check that but i'm going to leave it at all okay so horizontal scale 1 to 100 1000 to 100 okay so you can actually do some settings with it if you want it to be 1000 to 1000 that is a full scale okay you can edit that okay but i'm going to leave it on default number of rows number of columns and um, column distances so column distances you can choose to okay make it 25 row distances you can actually leave it to be on default okay then you click on execute then you click on draw all okay so here below you are just going to okay make sure you give it a little bit of space because it's going to be bigger depending on your information okay so that is just that is just that okay this is your this is the profile that's that has been generated so here you can see change 0 plus 0 0 2 2 plus 475 that's just like what we have here on our uh, surface design all right so that's just how to create the uh, the longitudinal profile of your route survey okay so so if this training is so helpful and insightful to you do it to share as well as um, hit on subscribe icon and turn on your notification to keep getting free tutorial from this channel all right so that's just how to design your uh, longitudinal profile so you can see uh, the change with respect to the existing level that is elevation okay so you can actually decide to change the color of the profile okay you can actually make it red depending you click on the profile right click come to quick properties then come to value layer then make it red so you can actually make it thicker the width so i'm just going to make this 0 0.2 okay so you can see it's thicker and more visible so you can decide to make it more thicker depending on what you want so it's more visible this way so that is just the profile so that is just the profile of the uh, uh, surface design okay so you can draw x section the same process okay that is the cross section but then i will not do that in the course of this video maybe subsequent ones all right so that is just all so you can actually um, um, print this out on a layout okay by coming to the layout below on your autocad layout one okay so if you check it's full the way it is supposed to be so that's just it so you can see existing ground level existing level changes kilometer and um, the vertical distance okay with increment of um, with increment of one 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 and so on and so forth so above here is the description okay or remarks so you can see here change if you have tpm it's going to de denote as tpm if you have uh, pits yeah, it's going to denote as pits so here you can decide to start uh, analyzing so you should know that here is going to need some filling here okay and um, some places is going to need some cuts just like this place there's going to be some cuts uh cut and fill um analysis so there's going to be a cut here there's going to be a few here and so on and so forth to design the road accurately so you can decide to uh, put your information back by going to model so you can decide to put information your name whatsoever information you need and some other details to beautify this so to print it out on layouts you click on layout then you click on print okay the print icon above there so you can decide to change it to window okay so that you can uh, have the advantage to choose the edges of the layout yourself okay that is just what i mean so that it's going to print just what you need so then you click on center plot okay then you can actually use bigger or a4 depending on any paper size okay to make it bigger then you can preview before printing 
so this look way more better okay so you can print on bigger size and um, okay present your uh, your presentation whatsoever you want to do with it so thank you for watching uh, I hope to see you again if there are any questions drop it under the comment section okay or DMing on my WhatsApp through the group uh, link that is pasted under the video description below thank you see you again